Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to wear white jeans. So I've got four different types of white denim here to style up in this video and thank you very much to the viewer who requested this one. I think it's going to be a really fun video to talk through. I really love wearing white jeans. They're sort of one of my favorites. Those black and a really nice vintage blue wash are sort of my faves and my go-tos. And if you've been following my blog or if you have watched some of my recent videos, you might have seen white jeans popping up quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is talk through each different pair of jeans and then I'm going to give you two different styling tips and then two different variations for those tips or tricks that I've got for how I like to wear them. So the first jeans that I'm going to talk about are these high-waisted white skinny jeans from Riders by Lee. Now I really like this particular pair of jeans because they're super stretchy. I got them in an A, usually I'm sort of a 25 and I feel like these are a really perfect fit on me. They're very nice and slim through the leg and then they're not too fitted at the ankle. I just think that they're quite flattering. I personally really like to go for mid or high rise when it comes to any kind of denim. I just feel like that helps to elongate your legs. Now the first thing that I like to do when I'm wearing white denim, particularly something that's really fitted on my bottom half, is balance out the proportions. So I'm going to wear something that's a little bit looser on the top. So I've decided to pair these with this Breton Stripe top from Bowden and I really like the earthy color of this top. I just think it's really nice and it really does complement the white denim really well. Because I wanted to keep the color palette really neutral, I've also worn some suede beige taupey colored boots from Mark Fisher. Now these are a really excellent dupe for the Acne Studios Jensen boots which as I've said time and time again I don't necessarily think they're worth the money. If you can afford them go for them but I think the Mark Fisher boots are a really great alternative particularly if you want something that's high quality but isn't going to break the bank. So for the variation on this outfit I've decided to try and elongate my body a little bit. I know that horizontal stripes aren't necessarily everybody's preference because depending on how you wear it or the kind of width and thickness of the stripe, they can actually make you look a little bit wider. So what I've done is I've worn my Evelyn Day Gloves, which I find are really great because I've got them in a cream color, so they help to elongate my foot just as I am quite pale at the moment. And then I've also worn a long line linen blazer from Yoli and Otis. Now, I don't know if this blazer is still available, but I will link some alternative options in the description box below if not. The second way that I like to wear this outfit is all white. I find I find that monochrome can really help to elongate the body, particularly when you're wearing something high-waisted. And you probably notice with both of these different outfits that I've tucked the tops in. I just find that that is the most flattering way to wear anything high-waisted or white jeans in particular just because it really does add a little bit of proportion and it helps to define your waist. So the tee that I'm wearing is just a simple cotton tee from Apro Label, which I really like. And I have worn my charcoal Vanelli two-tone pumps just for something that's a little bit smart on my feet. For the second variation of this outfit, I wanted to show you how you could pair this for maybe like a cocktail or drinks out with the girls sort of outfit. So I've worn my Givenchy inspired Vince Camuto leopard print sandals, which I absolutely adore. I just think that these are really great value for money. Again, like I really want to get the black pair of them. I just think they look very chic. And then I've also worn my Everlane trench just because I feel like that helps to also elevate and smarten up the look. And it really is that jacket, which helps to kind of finish off an outfit and really take it to the next level. The second pair of white jeans that I'm going to be talking about are the straight leg jeans. And the ones that I really love and I've worn a lot, you guys will know if you follow a lot of my videos are the Evelyn Cheeky straight jeans. So what I like about these is they have a mid rise and they're not necessarily what I would call a true straight. So they are slightly tapered at the ankle, which I think is super flattering. I believe that these fit true to size. I got a 25 in them and they're a really good fit on me. However, it is worth noting that they do tend to stretch out just a little bit across the hips. I don't mind and they shrink back when you pop them in the wash. So what I wanted to do with these jeans is show you that you can really smarten them up. So for the first outfit, I've worn them with this silk striped collarless shirt from Equipment. I just think that it pairs really nicely and it really takes the denim to the next level because you've got this really luxurious fabric. It is slightly loose, however, I think having it tucked in at the waist does create that definition. On my feet, I've paired it with my editor flats. Because these are pointy toed, they do help to elongate your legs slightly and I just think that they look really smart. And I've got a little bit of my ankle bearing too and I just think that, that is the most flattering way to wear jeans like this. For the second variation on this 
outfit I have gone with a black blazer over the top now this is kind of the way that I feel like a Parisian woman would wear her white jeans to work or just a straight leg jean in general to the office and on my feet I have gone for my Vanelli Tuton pumps again I really feel like these help to elevate so many of my outfits they're very just smart and very easy to throw on they kind of go with absolutely everything for my second outfit i kind of wanted to go for something a little bit more casual and again i've gone for a white on white look so i've paired my straight leg jeans with the whistles de rien tee i have to say i really like these t-shirts i wasn't sure because they are very expensive for what it is it's just a simple t-shirt however the fabric is super soft and it washes really well there's no degradation to the quality of the material that I found in my experience they haven't stretched so I do think that they might be worth the price tag <laughs> only if you can afford it though there are so many other affordable t-shirt brands out there that are equally as good I also wore the outfit with my Meet by JL camel coat now I really wanted to add some warmth to the look and I find that earthy tones pair really nicely with a uh, white jean on my feet I'm wearing my Sam Edelman loafers I do really feel like these look quite chic and quite smart as well a little bit more masculine a bit more gamine but I do quite like that look and then around my neck just to add another layer I've also worn my Acne Studios Canada scarf which I think pairs really nicely for the second variation on this outfit I really wanted to play with check and I wanted to show you another smart way that you could wear the straight leg jeans so I've worn my storm check blazer this is a really nice long line length and I find that this pairs really nicely with straighter or kind of more boyfriend style jeans in particular on my feet I'm wearing my Manso Gabrielle gingham pumps which I absolutely love however they are proven to be quite difficult to wear in um, Lizzie Hadfield was definitely right on that um, and then to just create a little bit more definition at the waist I have worn my Isabel Moran belt now this next style of jeans was actually the most difficult for me to kind of pair together with items in my wardrobe without making it feel too 70s and they are these kind of kick flare jeans from ASOS they've got a frayed edge hem these are called the Egerton rigid crop flare jeans I believe memory serves me I will link them down below they also come in a black which I think are really nice the cotton on this on this denim is really beautiful and soft and it's got a little bit of give to it too so they feel very comfortable on I feel like I try pairing these with basically everything in my wardrobe but one of the ways I really liked them was with just a simple oversized sweater so I decided to pair them with a Tradlands Heather Gray sweater which is just tucked in at the waist um, again creating that definition I don't really like anything to be too loose I just think that it can make you look a lot bigger than you actually are but because these are fitted around the waist the um, the trousers I feel like that helps to kind of show off your figure so these are flared out at the ankles so I wanted to kind of elevate the look and I paired them with my Isabel Moran pumps these are kind of like Again, I sort of feel like this is a Parisian way of wearing these trousers and I did actually end up quite liking the look. For the variation on this outfit, I decided to throw on my trench coat. I felt like that was a really great kind of finishing piece for these jeans and it actually ended up looking really great because you have that flare coming out underneath the um, trench which creates a bit more of an interesting silhouette on my feet. I'm wearing my beige two-tone flats. God, these shoes have come up so often, but I think it kind of adds a really classic vibe to the outfit. So for the second version of this look, because there is quite a lot of volume and kind of drama at the ankles of these jeans, I wanted to have something really simple on the top to not detract from it and kind of make the flare or the crop, kick crop flare, the focus of the look. So I paired them with a really simple navy roll neck sweater and I really like the way that this worked together on my feet I was wearing my editor slingback flats from Everlane as I feel like that helped to elongate the foot these do cut off just above my ankle so the narrowest point of my leg which I just really kind of wanted to show that off and because the slingbacks have a really fine strap that wraps around the back of your ankle it really helps kind of draw the eye there and really define and show off the narrowest part of your leg now I'm not kidding when I said that these were really hard to style up without making them look too 70s but I thought I would go all out for the second look and I decided to wear my loafers again with them I actually quite like the way that these look together because the loafers are a bit masculine whereas these are super feminine and very as I said 70s inspired the coat that I was wearing was my Stella McCartney navy coat and I just think that these 
looked really good together with the navy of the sweater and then kind of the white. It was a little bit kind of, um, I guess, nautical inspired, but I think that the pairing looked really nice. The final style of white denim that I have here are my boyfriend jeans, and these are again by Everlane. These are the modern boyfriend jean in the bone, and um, mine are a little bit bigger on the waist. I got the 25, so just keep that in mind if you are planning on picking a pair of these up. So I decided to kind of go down the Scandinavian route with my first outfit, and I paired them with an oversized knit sweater and some sneakers from Bowdoin, which I really love because they've got a leopard print panel on the sides it's just kind of a little bit different and really I think it draws your attention to your shoes um, and I feel like this combination just really works every single time you wouldn't think it would because you've got something really oversized on top and something really oversized on the bottom as well but I just feel like it's a really kind of winning combination for me um, and I did also throw my mute my JL coat over the top as well just to kind of help to take the outfit up to the next level and I think that the coat really complemented the silhouette of the jeans really nicely. Because it is more of a duster coat, it does kind of sweep the leg and it leaves a little bit of length at the bottom of the jeans to kind of highlight the fact that they're a boyfriend fit. I've rolled up my jeans as well, which I think is the best way to wear them as it helps to taper in slightly and again, just show off your ankle, elongate the legs. I feel like that's probably the biggest complaint um, when wearing white jeans is that they can make your legs look shorter. So I try to do everything that I can to make them look longer and leaner. For the second variation on the outfit, I just decided to get rid of the coat and wear my Isabel Moran pumps just because I feel like that's a little bit dressier and actually this is probably the kind of outfit that I would wear in the middle of winter if we we're going out for a nice dinner. Um, I tend to kind of opt for much more relaxed silhouettes these days but I do think there are little things that you can do to really help dress it up. Now you guys know that I work in television so our dress code is much more relaxed than in a corporate office so I can definitely get away with wearing jeans to work but whenever I do wear jeans to the office I kind of want to make sure that it looks elevated, that it looks smart and that it doesn't look kind of really sloppy. So one of my biggest tips when wearing something like this is to throw on a silk camisole. I feel like it just pairs really nicely. I actually did a blog post, gosh, I wanna say two years ago now, it was a really long time ago, where I wore a boyfriend jean with a silk cami and some nice strappy sandals and it was just a really banging outfit. I really loved the way it looked. It was just really simple, really easy, but super effortless as well. So I've worn a black silk cami from Grana and then I've also paired a storm check blazer over the top. I just feel like this blazer is a really nice length, it just comes a little bit lower than the bum which I think is really flattering and it kind of hides the fact that these are quite baggy around the hips. Uh, on my feet I'm wearing my Everlane Day heels, again I just wanted to add a little bit of height, I feel like a nice mid heel is a really great option if you want to kind of take your outfit to the next level but you want something that's still comfortable enough to run around in all day. I probably also wear my Charlotte Olympia um, pumps with the gold heel with these as well, there's a really great jute for those at Nordstrom which I will link in the description box below which I've heard from those of you who've bought them that they are excellent quality and they fit true to size. For the second variation on this outfit, I wanted to show you a really nice kind of casual way to wear the boyfriend jeans. So what I would do is I would switch out the blazer for a really nice oversized cardigan. The one that I've got is from a now defunct brand called To Serve With Love and it's a really beautiful cashmere. I've got it in a medium so it's really big and oversized on me which I kind of like and what I tend to do is scrunch up the sleeves as well just to kind of um, add a bit of volume there and just switch up the silhouette slightly. On my feet I wanted to add in a little bit of colour and some additional texture because I think a really interesting outfit is all about texture and different types of fabrics and also different patterns. So I'm wearing some leopard slingback flats. These are from uh, Country Road and they're a really amazing dupe for the Paul Andrew Rhea slingback flats. So I really like the way that that outfit turned out as well. So there you have it, that is four different kinds of white jeans styled 
16 ways. I hope that you guys got a little bit of outfit inspiration from this video. I would love to know which particular look was your favorite. I quite liked a lot of these and it's really inspired me to kind of wear white jeans a lot more frequently. If you do want to see my white jeans in action a little bit more, then do be sure to subscribe to my blog because I have been feeling like wearing them and reaching for them a lot more often at the moment. So um, they're bound to be popping up in a lot of my upcoming blog posts. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.